Hello and welcome back to the Deco Minimalist. My name is Carrie and I create content here on YouTube all about vintage style and 1930s fashion. And today we are in, well, I'm sure you know, we are in the swing of the holiday season and I have decided to make a cozy winter robe for myself um, because it's getting chilly out and I want something to wrap myself in in the morning and just to kind of be fancy while I'm, you know, lounging around on the couch as one does. And uh, this robe will also form the purpose of being the robe that I will wear uh, for my wedding. We're about 60 days out. Wow. Oh my god. So I need something to wear as we're getting ready with her makeup and all that stuff, you know. And uh, yeah, so this robe will form sort of a dual, that kind of dual function. And my inspiration for this design came from a specific um, set or a specific lace um, applique or lace trim that I found on Mood uh, months ago at this point. And it really has this kind of Art Nouveau or sort of Paul Poirot, not Paul Poirot, Poirot not, not Poirot, not David Suchet Poirot but um, Poiré, the, you know, fashion designer of the um, 19-teens and kind of 1920s. It also reminded me of something that um, Lady Grantham, well not, not like Maggie Smith, Lady Grantham, but Cora would wear um, because as anybody knows who's seen the series, her outfits always have like amazing embroidery details or applique details. She knows what's up. I'm really excited uh, to show you how it came out and without further ado, uh, let's get right on into it. This is the project for today. Honestly, probably for this week, if not also next week, I'll be making a uh, winter robe out of this blue uh, polyester velvet with some really beautiful um, trim that I'm really excited about. But yeah, it really was inspired by this uh, beautiful lace um, from Mood. And of course, I'll link everything that I'm using down below, even if it's not available, because maybe it'll come back in stock. I haven't checked the status of this, but pretty much, yeah, this was inspired by um, this beautiful lace trim that I saw. So I knew I wanted to use it. I didn't know how I wanted to use it. And then I saw, I knew that I wanted a robe for my wedding day and I knew um, that I wanted it to be a blue velvet. And then when I saw this pattern, um, you know, with this trim here, it's just really, it was just like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. So um, some, some, um, Hopefully this project goes well because I have never worked with velvet before and I don't have enough fabric to make a mock-up. So we're just jumping right into this and hoping it's not, you know, a total disaster. So let's get to it. So something I just remembered, um, with velvet, it's important to figure out, um, you'd want to make sure that all of the pieces are going in the same direction. Um, and so with this, the pile of the velvet or the texture is going this way and you don't want, you know, and so, oh my God, what do you want? Okay. Um, she wants attention. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, so the velvet is going in this direction. So I'm gonna, so what I want, um, I want the velvet to be going in this direction, basically along the body, so to speak. Um, so I'm gonna, so basically it's gonna be, um, the ne it's gonna be going from like the top down. So that's just good for me to remember. And uh, hopefully, you know, I don't fuck this up. <laughs> so here we go. We're in this together.
Okay, so quite a few hours have gone by since my last check-in, but basically, as you can see, I've cut out uh, the pattern pieces, and then um, what we're looking at here, this is the center back, and then we have the two uh, front pieces. So I've basted them together. You can see here the basting thread, and then just sewn the pieces together. I also did... Um, some stay stitching around the back of the neck and then also along the armhole here. I'm not sure if I will, you know, if it was necessary, but in case it is, it is, it is done. So I think I will take out the basting stitches, press these seams carefully somehow because I don't have a velvet ironing board, um, but I'll press them and, uh, see what else needs to be done in the instructions. This is like step two of 22, so yeah, it's gonna be a long project. I really loved how this robe came out. I also added a belt with um, using the selvage pieces as belt loops. And then here you can see I have two uh, snaps just for a closure. And yeah, it's really, really pretty, really, really comfortable. And I'm just so pleased. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it uh, inspires you this holiday season to make something of your own and um, I hope it was just sort of fun aesthetic sewing content and I hope everyone has a lovely safe and cheerful positive holiday and I will see you next week uh, the last week of the year crazy enough for another video all right 